It just doesn't seem safe, I guess. Look, if they didn't want us to try it, then why would they name it something as funny as ketamine? Yo, Kyle, take a look at this. Uh... Is it good? Yeah, man. What? Let me see that. Avery, this is a bag of dildos. Well, it's actually a bag of sex toys, you fucking prude. Why do you have... Why are you asking Kyle if your bag of sex toys looks good? Well, if what this Kyle says is true and the ads will see us coming in this thing, original recipe Kyle is gonna need something to keep him occupied. And you got him the Askasm penis ring and plug instead of water? No, I got him the Askasm penis ring and plug and the Bang Backdoor Adventure Kit instead of water. Where did you even get this shit? I got an email from adamandeve.com while we were on the road for 50% off one item and free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions apply with the code PSTPOD. Wow, you removed all that? Yeah, I have it open on my phone, look. Avery, this email is from David. Well, then I guess you better stop arguing with me so that I can give original Kyle this stuff and we can leave then, huh? You are gonna leave me with water though, right? No, I don't trust the tap water around here. They're putting something in it that makes you piss. Don't worry though, I left him with some water from the Garden of Eden. I'm winking. Avery, this is 50 gallons of forbidden anal lubricant. Yeah, and if he doesn't finish all of it, they have a 90-day hassle-free return policy and 24-7 customer service. Why didn't you just get bottled water? What, you hate the gays or something? What? 20% of their profit goes to fight the spread of HIV around the world. Does that bother you? I, I, I don't... Look, if you order that stuff here, somehow, we need to get moving as soon as possible. I agree. Here you go, pal. I'm winking again. I heated fish and I forgot to eat it, but I'm just going to leave it there. What is wrong with you? What? What is what the fuck, David? What? You re did you put fish in the microwave and you're just leaving it? Oh well, my god, and now I want to talk about it's fucking in my Julian. <coughs> it's oh in my office. fuck. Julian. Julian will reheat five day old seafood in the microwave. Uh, and what and insist, stuff? Insists that it's fine. Like I, I, thought the, I thought the boo shit was weird, and then you're like, oh, by the way, Julian and seafood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no, shrimp is different. It's like, no, yeah, it it's is different. different. No, it, I thought you were just going, oh, by the way, Julian. <laughs> is, I mean, <laughs> what's the worst that can happen, you know? Is there you like get a very sick? Is there like fish the salmonella? Smell. What's fish salmonella? Yeah, also, called? the smell. Salmonella. It's, it, it's like I, I, I think I've realized anybody who reheats fish in the microwave doesn't have the ability to smell how horrible it is. I think you just can't smell with five day old fish. I, like, I, I think, think, in I the think at that point, you're, you're, you're like, your brain fucking, shuts off you your ability fucking, to smell because it knows you don't want to. I think you uh, just nuke the sh the. The smell out of it with your, no, it, yeah. it, it fish no. microwave. No matter what, it permeates an entire household. Also, wait, just for the sake of clarity, David, did you fucking microwave fish? Well, yeah, yeah. Why? It, it's Ugh. like one day old. Why? Because it was already. I, I already it made a fish. thing, and it was I, like in. Fuck you. I made like, <laughs> I made like butternut squash spaghetti, and the, there was like fish in the thing. Oh, and like, like the shards sauce? of fish. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a little different. Oh, that's okay. a little that's different. different. That, is, that is a little different than just fucking nuking fish in the microwave. <laughs> well, it's kind of nuked. I, I mean, yeah, I, but, like, okay, but still, it's different. It's, it's sauce with fish in it is different than just fucking throwing a fish in the microwave. No, I want you to scream at me. What? Fucking weirdo. What the fuck? I don't know. If, when are we? When are we starting? See, we this started. Is, this is the issue with like having no intro is that you never know when no. you're starting. No, so because after the clap, after after, after the, the clap, clap it's, it's just starting. You just go. You, you just you just go and you cut out. Why are we doing this? I didn't even fucking listen to the intro this podcast. time. Hi, welcome. Wait, to now the you podcast. want to do Hello, everybody. And welcome to another episode of Please Stop Talking. <laughs> yes, as always, I am your intro. host, Shammy, but you might know me you. better as Avery. Fuck you. I thought you didn't want to do intros. You're right. I don't. Why I, are we I'm talking kidding. about it? You you stopped us to do an intro. You literally stopped us to do an intro, I guess. Like, David, you brought it up. David, you brought it up. How is this my fault? David, you brought up when are we starting just, while recording? We had already <laughs> started. Everything before this was great to start with. That's so Brendan. Corbin and I That's, went to I mean, too many yeah. games, right? Yeah, how was too many games, David? It was we fucking. Didn't even finish intros. It's fine. I don't care. It was really fucking uh, great. Weird and sad at the same time. Sad because 
every single person that went to this one restaurant got extremely bad food poisoning <laughs> one after the other and we had to cancel the meet and greet which was sad and it was weird because i've never well i've, I've never ever been in the same room as doug walker but uh I've, i was in the same room as doug walker like every single fucking day there oh my god i was in like way to bring up doug walker you're talking just, about yeah, like it's radiation never been in this <laughs> dude i don't know it, it's doug walker it was just really weird to always like hear ah! or <laughs> he's like you, you would just hear like a faint like melvin melvin brother of the joker and it was like oh man true. that's so weird it's that's not that's true, not true. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite part was that david would constantly be like oh my god that's doug walker and i'm like who the fuck is doug walker because <laughs> you're a well-adjusted man apparently apparently i need i need to mention this i, I didn't think it was a story but we basically nothing happened at too many games because of like everybody getting sick but like the first day before everybody started getting sick we had a like party like with a bunch of youtube people and like video game people and at one point i just go to oh also the alcohol was free which was a fucking horrible idea it's always a bad idea awful fucking idea i we i i, really I, like I dude i drank like 12 fucking rum and cokes i was i gone. really i really like how the uh alcohol being free like ripples on the rest of the party were described to me by like the least drunk person in the in y'all's group they described it as if you walk around the party you can see that everyone else has like one or two glasses at their table in front of them <laughs> and then you look at your group and it's just a fucking like a mountain of glass that's, everyone has had so much everyone so else is true. fine dude, it was y'all that it was we a bad were, idea to give free alcohol oh too my God. i have a video i'll put it in the in do you I, wait do you have a video of it's how a video many? of our table and you can dude, see the our, other tables have like one drink on it and our table is you just couldn't, covered in glass. You couldn't put anything on our fucking table. We were rowdy and drunk and screaming, oh. which probably did not help with <laughs> the rest of what happened that night. How much I, pain Brendan is hey, in. I, I was supposed to go. My <laughs> wife got sick and I got sick. And I knew I was like the second I knew that I couldn't go. I was like, oh, my God, they're not going to have adult supervision. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Like oh, I was like dude. actually upset. I was like, oh, I cannot leave anybody in <laughs> like 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 this because I know for a fact I'm gonna hear some <laughs> whack shit from somebody else what about point? like those PST guys drank like 29 beers and I wasn't there to be like, dude, hey, we hey. we I, I drank 12 rum and cokes. But to be fair, they weren't like they were free rum and cokes, so they were like pretty small. But still. We drank so much. At one point, I paid for mine. Well, at one point, yeah, we were cut off. Good. Free alcohol. Good. At one point, we had to start paying. Uh, and I actually, that's when I went. We because there was like a karaoke thing happening, which was kind of fucking sick. Like people were getting down. At one point, yeah. there was like somebody just singing Goofy movie, that Goofy movie song. I don't remember what it's called. The power they line, were, not Michael Jackson one. No, no, it was, no, it was, uh, it was the, uh, on the, the open beginning road. on the upper okay. road, and they were going hard. It was fucking sick. And at yeah, that point, y'all uh, you'll wound up hanging out with uh, some guy who sings Minecraft songs about dream. What, That's that who really it was? Happened? Yeah. I knew he looked uh, familiar. Jello, Jello told me about it. He looked the guy up after after y'all hung out with him. What? And yeah, he just, he makes Minecraft parody songs about Dream. <laughs> what? That dude bought a house this year. <laughs> I know. Incredible. He I wish I could us. talk to I, I, if, if I was there, I would have gotten him to like recreate Goldor because that's my favorite Minecraft parody. And the fact that it's gone from the internet makes me so sad. Anyways, while that was happening, the karaoke, the goofy, the yelling, the screaming, I went to the bar to get like a, dr a drink for everybody. I was getting around and I locked eyes with Scott the Waz and he just like, I, 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 I I, I didn't say anything or do anything. He just like did that. He nodded towards me. He gave you the Midwestern hello. Yeah, the, the, the howdy. Yeah. And then I was like, I was really drunk and I didn't know how to react because I was like, that's Scott the Waz. 
He j- he literally just announced that he's going on s- fucking TV now, and I j- I I didn't know what to say, so I just like <laughs> I just like went over to him and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and, and he he just he just went like, "Oh oh uh nothing." <laughs> I just I want to see that and from I Scott the like, Waz perspective. Just this drunk guy is just staring dude, at you. Just, I just drunk guy stares at you. What what he comes you up and he aggressively goes, says what? What, <laughs> dude? I I don't know why I was so aggressive. And if, dude, it's so fucking weird to be in a place where like a table away from you, there's the angry video game nerd hanging out with fucking Doug Walker. <laughs> Fuck. It was so weird. Do, do Brendan and Mandy know about the uh, pistol? No, no, they don't. No. Know. I oh. in, I intentionally said, Corbin, tell tell them what you did. So David, we, we're already like absolutely shit faced at this point. It's pretty this late. Is, I think that yeah, I think this is like at the end of yeah. This is before everything. I was like, we need to leave. <laughs> before Julian was on the ground. Actually, no, I got back and Julian uh, no, was Julian on the was on the ground. Julian did his thing where he like gets on the floor, <laughs> but like in, next to a but chair. like yeah, but he he kind of did it in public. So like I hated that. Yeah, I know, I can tell. Uh, but David gets up and goes to the restroom. And I go, well, I might as well go too. And so David's already peeing in the urinal. And uh, at where one pees. And so I leave a urinal gap between us. And so there's one in the middle. And David's just staring at me. And so I start staring back at him. And we're just holding eye contact. And David goes, I really don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> This is my favorite. And then Boo walks in and like cartoon style slips in a puddle of piss. <laughs> dude, I didn't know about that part. Listen, there was dude, somebody like actually just pissed on the floor. Oh yeah. It was Free there alcohol. was so much fucking piss on the floor. It was probably it was someone disgusting. in y'all's group. <laughs> and so me and David just Julian start- step up. <laughs> step up to it already. Me and That's why Julian start- started sitting on the floor afterward. He felt so ashamed. <laughs> oh no. That's a sad part. I can't fucking believe Julian pissed all over the floor at the Screenwave party. Well, see, that's not our f- that wasn't our first guest. Or at least Corbin's first guest. Well, I didn't we I assumed it was just water on the ground. And so me and David are just fucking like laughing our eyes out. Just fucking cry laughing. And I'm going to wash my hands and I look and like the puddle is clearly fucking bright yellow. it's like bright yellow and i go yo that's not that's not water that is straight up piss and david's like who pissed on the floor and i go doug doug <laughs> why did you do this doug is pissed all over the floor doug we just, we just and i'm keep, washing my hands we're washing go, our why? hands and we keep saying like doug walker pissed on the floor oh, no. doug oh, walker pissed oh, on the floor God. i'm washing my hands and i look up in the mirror and the stall door opens and doug walker walks out <laughs> <laughs> oh, my heart, God. my heart just stops and i stare at david and i go it's Doug. I couldn't stop. Dude, no, you were so... You did not whisper it's Doug. That's one thing you misremember. You, like, you like look at me and he was just like, it's Doug. Like, really fucking loud. And he just kind of looked at us. I'm so oh embarrassed God. for you. My headphones are only a fourth of the way on. <laughs> I am cringing Dude, so hard. I'm I, curled up. There was no reason for Corbin to say that. He just said it. Brandon is is currently experiencing to boldly pee. (laughs) Dude, I just leave my back towards him and just fucking sprint out of the restroom, hands still wet. What the fuck? Dude, you You did it. I just saw his face. Okay, if you, okay, okay hang on, fair, quick question. Have any of you seen that fucking clip from the fucking musical movie that came out, Dear Evan Hansen, uh, where no. he, oh, he yeah, gets approached runs. by a girl at his locker and he Naruto runs away? <laughs> that is exactly what I'm picturing you doing right now. <laughs> I just run back to the table crying. Dude, I'm I, like, what happened? And I'm like, Doug I, Walker I was, pissed on the floor. I, 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 I wasn't oh guilty. I wasn't guilty that much, so I kept washing my hands. I just ran away. But, like, I just remember seeing his, like, 
he looked like <laughs> he looked so fucking okay you guys know the the that one video where he's like typing at a keyboard and looking like conv- yeah confused yeah. the shit he was wearing the same shirt he was bald oh, and he the, looked exactly the Mr. same peanut butter he of course he was bald what <laughs> he was yeah that's, <laughs> that's what he does now oh also, i don't know David, I don't that's the him. that's that's the ad from the wall yeah oh is it well yeah. he was he was he looked exactly like that but instead of a keyboard he was washing his hands it was yo doug come on the podcast and tell us why you pissed on the floor man <laughs> tell us tell us your side of the story or else for the rest of the for the round, dude. no i like i am i there is a huge like a like a there is a there is a fucking watermelon sized embarrassment welling up in my chest so, i am i am so nice it was it was the first night I had and to we keep were in Doug same, everywhere I looked. We were in the same room as him, like close to him nonstop. It was it was it was horrible. I couldn't make eye contact. I just every time we'd walk past his booth, I'd just put my head down and turn away. I wanted to get an autograph, oh but I never I wanted did. to go to his booth, pay him twenty dollars to ask I him was why he pissed on the also floor. embarrassed. <laughs> Dude, I, was, I was so embarrassed. I couldn't even look at I, I, no, I, I looked at him. It was hard not to look. It's what just the it's, what the it, fuck, David? It's hard not to look because it's like it, it's Doug Walker and he's just there and he's hanging Mind out in his own fucking business. He it's looks over and some French Canadian with beach blonde with bleached blonde hair is staring him down. It was a, it was a threat. Surrounded by glass by empty glasses, and then he'll do an eyebrow raise, and then the French Canadian boy will approach him and say, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude! At, at another point, actually, same night, uh, I, I I don't remember how it happened. Court is just like really good at making friends with every single person yeah. they bump into. They bump yeah. into anyone, and it's oh, just like they're best friends. I want to talk about something that happened to Court that Court oh, told me about. Oh, dude. Uh, uh, at one point, I I just go to help them with like. It drinks because we were buying rounds and we are we were like a small group so i i went to help them out and <laughs> they were just talking to this fucking this random guy and this uh, uh, this guy i like bump into him and i apologized to him i was like oh sorry and then it was like what are you canadian <laughs> what yeah <laughs> i was just like yeah and then he just started laughing <laughs> cry laughing he was like ah! just like slapping his fucking thighs and going crazy his thighs yeah he was like ah! <laughs> he's going <laughs> no I, d- dude what you, you guys don't know like the like thigh slapping laughs like knee slapping knee slap, yeah. knee slap. oh knee slap whatever he was just going nuts because ah! i was canadian i just I've been like haunted by that image. It's just such a weird thing. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> something very funny about you being haunted by someone just fighting at your Canadian and they and can't laugh. fucking contain but it's themselves. So, but it's they just so start weird. Dying laughing. But it's such a weird thing uh, to like cry laugh it's really about. Weird. I just yeah, I just didn't know it's what really to do. weird. It's just a it's just a funny thing to be haunted by. David immediately came back to the table and started complaining about it. That's, no, I did not. Don't even. I did. Yes, you did. No. You went and you sat down and you were sad and you go, someone laughed at me for being Canadian. That sounds right. Yeah. That sounds, that yeah. sounds absolutely correct. Yes. Fuck you guys. And yeah. then we all started laughing and slapping our thighs. <laughs> I mean, if something like that happened to me, that'd probably be the first thing I'd bring up when I sit down. Like, yeah, I mean, it was weird. It was so weird. Uh, Yeah. What happened to court? Oh, it was just uh, when you guys ran into some fans uh, before you introduced yourself, (laughs) yourselves, David said, hey, you you have to guess who we are. And they get they point at David and they say, you're David. They point at Corbin and they say, you're Corbin. They point at Boo and they say, you're Boo. And then they look at court and someone says, and, yeah, I, and I said that, yeah. And they're like, I don't know who you are. And David says, that's Avery. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, 
and then uh Cor goes, I'm not, I'm I'm not Avery, I'm just I'm just a friend. And then one of the fucking fans that you that you were meeting just said, Yeah, you wish you were Avery. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen, yeah. <laughs> We dude, we we made fun of court so often with that. Like, oh yeah, you fucking wish, you fucking wish you were angry. <laughs> I told court like, oh, you should have, you should have, you should have said you were Avery. Oh, yeah, court well. and I sound very similar. They could have pulled that off that's for a while. That's, that's what's funny. <laughs> for uh, for reference for the audience, we sound nothing like <laughs> nothing, not even close. I think if I had to pick the the person I talk to who I sound the least like, I might pick court. Like we sound fucking nothing alike. I th- I think I got I think I got like food poisoning like extremely sick because of, I grazed the shoulders of Doug. What? Like he hexed you? I what? think. Well, the same thing happened to Court. Everybody. Court. Actually, I don't know if it was food poisoning because everybody who bumped into into Doug by accident in the hallway, which happened like a, a few times, so I think it was intentional on his end. Uh, everybody who bumped shoulders with Doug got extremely sick and hexed. I'm just going to say that. Court walked into the room one morning and their nose was just bleeding. What the and fuck? I'm like, uh, you okay, bud? And he goes, oh yeah, just, you know, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> and they just sort of Dude, we're, a, getting, we're, getting bl- we're getting blacklisted Doug, so Doug hard. was just the boogeyman for everything that went wrong. David, I don't think we're getting blacklisted for this if we got away with watching all of the wall on stream. <laughs> this one is more public than that. That's true. <laughs> anyway. I just imagine like y'all leave the bathroom and Doug's still washing his hands and he just sighs and he goes, those crazy kids. <laughs> Ban them. What'd you do if like in the new review he makes like a skit based off that encounter? <laughs> Like, like Tamara and Malcolm are like in the same bed. They're like, Doug, pee on the floor. He's like, what? No, I didn't. <laughs> I... But if you want something that'll really piss you off, let's talk about the Smurfs 3. <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh my God. That would be incredible. Like Malcolm's like dressed up as you. He's like a blonde wig. <laughs> D- David is David's the role of Corbin in the nostalgia critic sketch. Like he gets it wrong. Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't. He didn't see who said what. To be fair, he'll, he'll just assume it was you because Corbin ran out too quick and he couldn't like. No, nah, it'll him. be because he and Scott the Waz exchanged notes. <laughs> no. I don't. This is the worst outcome. I don't want that. Fuck, do we go from here? <laughs> Speaking of hexes and curses. Oh, fuck. oh yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, my my witch problems have mainly been over. There was there was a lingering issue, which was um I cha- I change out my uh my apartment's air filter every month, and like for the vent system because it's uh I have pretty bad allergies, so I like I just do it once a month instead of like the usual three. Except this time when I checked, the vent was pure fucking black, and I went that's very fucking strange because usually it'll go from like a white to a light gray color. And it was, it was like, like you sent me yeah. a picture of that. That was like tar fucking black. Yeah. So I called the uh, apartment maintenance to like look at it the next day. So it's like I've been here for like three years now and I've never seen anything like this here. And so the maintenance guy looks at it. And he's like, oh, yeah, this is like from this looks like ash from like scented candles and stuff. Like, yeah, like I've, I'll burn a candle sometimes. But like I've done that before. And I've never <laughs> I've never had the air filter turn black. And like he put a finger to it. Like he wiped it off and his finger was like, it was like Play-Doh. He's like, this <sighs> looks like several years worth of like ash buildup. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I just, I changed this three weeks ago. He goes, oh, I don't know. Could just be something weird happened in the system. And so I just threw it out. <laughs> and so I don't know how long it was like that. But in the meantime, Dimitri came to, um, <laughs> f- fucking Avery was there for that. That's right. I was. Cause, yeah, because we were going to this Mexican place, and he was like, I have a solution to your witch problem. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And he, and he, like, he, like, he brings us into my fucking living room like he owns the place. <laughs> like, like come, on, like, come come this way. And he has this box sitting in the middle of the table. It's a pretty small box. And I'm like, all right, and I open it up, 
And he has this fucking eye talisman that wards off evil. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an evil, it's an evil eye it. talisman. Yeah. It's like really ornate too. It had like multiple eyes on it. I think there's like an elephant dangling from it. And he's like, it's a talisman to ward off evil. And I went, okay, fine. <laughs> and I just went in my office. I pulled out a hammer. I can't, maybe, I don't remember what I said, Avery, but I remember just hammering it into the wall and yelling something. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> what? Why? I don't remember what you Why? Yelled. I just oh. very distinctly remember you like stomping to your office and then stomping back to your front door, pulling out a fucking hammer and just ding, 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 and then hanging up the charm and just going, fuck it. <laughs> oh, right. It was fuck off, witch. That oh, was fuck off, witch. Yeah. <laughs> And then he reaches in the box again and he's like, by the way, there's a keychain sized version of Oh too. my god. <laughs> Which is <laughs> hanging on your keyring now. Or hanging yeah. on your uh, key hook. On the thing. Yeah, key hook. So I was yeah. like, oh, I'm fine. And then Avery goes, I don't know, because I think the bell was rung at me when I was coming over. No, I don't think that so. This is I had arrived and I I hadn't mentioned it yet, I don't think, at that point. We just said I think because he said I I think the bell was rung at me. Yeah. And, and we um, went out and I was like, from where I was like, oh, did it come from over there? Like, oh yeah, right there. Uh-oh. No, you asked you where did it come from, and I pointed at one of the balconies, and you went, "Uh oh." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what happened was um, I was walking over to uh, Mandy's apartment uh, for fucking Mexican food, and then watching bad movies. Uh, we watched Hocus Pocus, and Bradley or Dimitri had a fucking Doesn't stroke. Matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, but, right, yeah, we, we watched fine movies. I don't remember what happened. Fine after. movies. Well, we yeah. run some big margaritas from that place. Yeah, <laughs> big. Margaritas. Anyways, uh, when I was walking over, as I uh, as I like approach the like staircase to go up to uh, Manny's apartment, as I'm like approaching it, I just start he- hearing ding, 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 oh, ding, 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 and I look up and there and I just see like a, I see it the the they're not on the balcony, but I see through the window. I see. Like in the darkness, I see a bell just being rung, and then it's ding, ding, ding. I take, I'm walking toward the apartment. Ding, ding. I step onto the threshold. Instantly stops. <laughs> the second I step onto th- into the threshold oh. of the apartment, instantly silent. And I went, oh fuck. <laughs> <sighs> and, oh my god, uh, that's right. Because you had the fucking flight the next day too. Yeah, I did have the flight. That the was next such day. a big night. Yeah. Because then, um, as the night went on, this ties into a very old episode of the podcast, actually. What? Because we we started watching movies, and then at some point, it's like probably past 5 a.m. at this point, and we're, we see Planet of the Apes on Amazon or something, and Avery's <laughs> very drunk by now. <laughs> I did not he, think he, we were going to mention this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel like I have to, because it, it's like a tie-in. <laughs> And he's super yeah. drunk. And I'm like, oh, that's like the shitty like Tim Burton play on the apes. And he's like, yeah, Marky Mark tongue kisses a monkey in it. He tongues an ape. <laughs> what? And, I, and, I'm, and I'm pretty drunk too. When I get drunk, we argue. <laughs> so I'm like, no, he fucking doesn't. It was like, yeah, he like fucks this ape on screen. He like tongues this ape. And he keeps going on about it. And so I say, fine, we're going to watch the whole movie. <laughs> And then 10 minutes in, Avery just passes out. <laughs> I pass out after asking multiple times, please turn it off. <laughs> I don't want to watch Marky Mark tongue the monkey. <laughs> and so we're up. Me and Dimitri are, are just in there drinking, watching this movie. And then it's 8 a.m. at this point. Things are so out of control. And there's a knock at the door, and I'm like, oh, right. Oh, no. I have a, I have a furniture person coming because I needed to get my uh, a table repaired. <laughs> And he comes in, and he's like, he's this nice Indian guy. And he's like, he goes, oh, like, your place looks very spooky for Halloween party. I'm like, yeah. And I, I just, I'm back in my mind, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's September, and I put my Halloween stuff up. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's really halloween out over here. So this was a little strange. And he comes to the coffee table, and me and Demetri are trying to get around that Avery's just, like, dead on the couch. I'm like, oh, you can repair it. Just don't mind him. <laughs> and he looks at the table. <laughs> He looks at Avery, he looks back, he's like, well, you know, with COVID, you you can't really be in here when I'm doing this. I'm oh. like, all right. So we start poking at Avery. <laughs> he's like, he's barely alive. 
but he manages like to get up and stumble to the office and collapse on the couch. And the guy like finishes his work pretty quickly. And so me and Dimitri are sitting there and then we're, we're still drunk. And now we're getting fucking mad. <laughs> we're just like Avery said, Marky Mark tongues, the monkey that doesn't fucking happen. I knew fucking happen. You didn't get the unrated cut. <laughs> and so you know what? Fuck him. <laughs> can so, I hang on? Can I describe this part from my perspective? Yes, I, so, I think it's good you reveal I, how this happens. I vaguely, I vaguely recall um, the. Uh, I vaguely recall um, see, watching the first ten minutes of the 2001 Plan of the Apes, where Marky Mark is playing a scientist. That's right, and it's the most unbelievable part fucking, of the movie. Okay, so. <laughs> And I start having, and I don't realize that I'm asleep because I don't recall the transition into sleep. So I just start having nightmares about chimps. Like I did when I was a child every fucking night of the chimps coming to my house and beating me to death. And I am slowly roused from my sleep by these nightmares and thank fuck by the way because my phone was in the other room and that's where i had the alarm that was going to wake me up so i didn't miss my flight oh shit <laughs> so i am roused from sleep by these fucking nightmares i open my eyes and i am still hearing chimps going ape shit right next to me and i just <laughs> let out a guttural scream and jump <laughs> off the couch and say oh fuck oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> Which I woke up to hearing. <laughs> so I was, I was on the floor. I just started hearing, oh fuck! <laughs> and, Shit, and, fuck. and I'm like, I'm like, my eyes are bulging out of my fucking head. There's sweat immediately running down my body. I'm spinning around in the room. And I realized that fucking Mandy started playing chimps going ape shit noises on his fucking computer while I was sleeping because he was so fucking mad at me for saying that Marky Mark tongues the monkey in the 2001 Planet of the Apes movie. And then that that fear subsides. And then I am re like re afraid because I'm looking around. I have no fucking idea what time it is. I don't have my phone. I sprint from the office to the kitchen and I look at the microwave. And I'm like, oh, fuck, thank God. And then I <laughs> just search your apartment after screaming and running around, running around like a fucking bull for my phone and then quietly leave like, I sure hope I didn't wake up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we we're like, we'll just let him sleep in here. But first, let's turn on the 10 hours of chimp noises playlist. <laughs> That's not too evil. loud, but just loud enough. <laughs> and then we go in the other room and sit back on the couch. And Dimitri goes, hey, I just realized something. Oh, what? Didn't Avery said he had like nightmares about monkeys as a kid or something? How they'd like kill him in his sleep? <laughs> like, oh, yeah, he did. Oh, fuck. Well, I can't get up now. <laughs> <I'm so tired. laughs> oh, I'm then, sweating just recounting that. That was a horrible morning. And then you came back to witch shit, apparently. Yeah, there was no witch shit when I was visiting family, but once I got back to my apartment, I think it might be a range thing, because I don't get it as, I didn't get anything nearly as bad as Mandy, uh, except for the one morning where I was woken up by a horrible acrid smell, um, that had no source, um, and then I went back to sleep, uh, eventually, and then I woke up again like an hour later and I just vomited straight bile. That was probably the worst of it for me. And I don't, I don't fucking know what could have caused that. Um, I didn't, I like, uh, all the food I ate was fine. I ate it again the next day nothing happened. Um, and, uh, I didn't drink at all that night. So, so at I, one point you're like, oh, I thought I heard like, heard like a child laughing or tapping. Yeah, no, that was the first night. The first night <laughs> that I was back, I was sitting in my office and I hear tapping on the window to my left. By the way, I'm on the third fucking floor. I hear tapping on the window to my left and I look over and I have the fucking blackout curtains drawn and I just hear like, <laughs> like from behind, the, like, <laughs> oh like my muffled, God. like coming from outside. And I, and I instantly, I just, I just messaged Dimitri and I said, oh, I need one of those fucking eye shots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh and then throughout the rest of that night i would occasionally hear like the tapping again or like uh like whispers or whatever 
Uh, and I was like rationalizing and I was like, it's just my fucking downstairs neighbors. They're breaking up again or having like the, the judo tournament again or something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm not, I'm not, it's fine. I'm fine. And then, um, a few days ago, the most recent haunting thing that I had, uh, was, uh, at random intervals throughout the night, I would just feel bumping from the floor beneath me. Oh, God. Like in my feet, like someone was hitting, like there's like my downstairs neighbors were done with their judo tournament and they were hitting the ceiling with broomsticks, like directly underneath me. And then sometimes from above me, like from the ceiling, but always directly above and below me, no, like uh, whether I was in like my uh, living room or the kitchen or at my desk. Um, uh, and then I went to sleep and I think this was probably a nightmare that was caused by that one being fucking freaky. Uh, but I woke up and I swear I felt bumping directly underneath me, like from oh my mattress. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh Christ. That one I think was a dream. That one I hope was a dream. But uh, yeah, I don't really have many witch updates other than that. And then later that day, fucking Ecto-1 was in the parking lot. Uh, yeah. that, that did happen. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, re oh, I hang remember on. you sent me a picture hey, of man, that. Have you, have you talked about the uh, your neighbors who exploded? What? What? <laughs> what? That is what? Not oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Your neighbors I, exploded. I don't know they exploded. Oh my the god! The apartment's being very hush hush about how they exploded. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, we've had problems like ongoing for fucking months with like people using grills or gasoline inside, like all over. And so, no way. Yeah. I want to clarify all over his building. My building's yeah. fine. <laughs> well, this, my this building just at, has the judo tournaments. This one wasn't at my building this time. But it, yeah, like people downstairs would try to use like a, a grill indoors and stuff and would sit off the like monoxide detectors. They nearly kill themselves. Things like that. But um, oh my God. This was a, oh my, when was it? A few weeks ago? There was a, um, some emergency vehicles come through as they do. And like, like, I look at the office when I see like a fire engine come through and go past my building. I'm like, oh, okay. Then and I see a second one come through. Then a third. Then a fourth. Then two like hazmat control vehicles. Then an ambulance. Whoa. Then like some sort of like uh, rescue team vehicle. Then two more fire engines. Like Avery, why is there like a parade of engines yeah. coming through? <laughs> yeah, because he's he's Cause closer to the road than me. I am. Uh, I think there were seven fire engines that came. Yeah, like it would be like fire engine, fire engine, various emergency vehicles, fire engine, fire engine, and I'm at this point. I'm like, okay, is the building next to me actually like on fire? Because I'm really worried. And I'm like, okay, but what the fuck do I do? I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna leave the area for now, and I'll come back and like. A, w a little while so I get in my car I do some errands I come back and I pull my car around my own building to see like what's going on, on the other side and I see a bunch of people are like, already out of their um they're like outstanding because they also want to see what's happening and I go okay I probably shouldn't be in my car in case vehicles need to come through or like enter out I'll just park it here and so <laughs> my my car is quite old it has a um a little knob for like adjusting the volume that like it's, it's sort of loose from the internal mechanism on it. So like I'll turn it to the right and like the volume will go down instead and I have to like really grip it. it something's loose in it. It's very, it's bad. And so I turn this down and like click it at the same time to turn it off. I do not know yet that I've actually turned the volume up to like a meteor impact volume. <laughs> this is a surprise for later. And so I get out and I see like a bunch of like EMTs and, and fire department people and they're talking to like the um, some residents somewhere and I'm like, OK, whatever's happening is clear, like it's under control, like the hoses aren't like all out there. I don't see anything burning and people are standing around talking. Whatever's happening is clearly over. And then I see some stretchers being pulled out from like one of the buildings. I, I can't see how they are, but there's multiple stretchers. I'm like, okay, holy fuck, whatever happened was bad, but it's over. And so I get back in my car to leave. And the windows were down because I just parked for a second and it was fucking burning that day. And it starts playing this Adam Levine song that came out a while back, which has just <laughs> now reached the radio about beautiful mistakes. <laughs> it's 
So I turn on the volume of my car, and he's screaming, beautiful mistakes. And all these people turn and fucking look at me because my windows are down and this is blaring. And it looks like I've just sat in my car to turn this music on. <laughs> like, I think it's funny. <laughs> and I, like, turn it down. Like, I'm sorry. And rolling my windows up. And I'm realizing, like, oh, thank God I can leave and drive home. And I realize home is 50 feet away from me. <laughs> and so I, like, I have started to peel out. But then, like, I slow down and then just make, like, an abrupt right and park. <laughs> I'm in front of my own building. <laughs> <laughs> and then I we have like a um like an apartment Facebook kind of deal where like you can um like like post about like stuff you're selling, like I'm trying to get rid of this chair, or, like ask about community events. Like, mm. hey, does anyone know why like over a dozen emergency vehicles came through? But they it, they did not allow me to post that. They had to start um start like mod approving posts on it because people were getting really catty on it people would say shit like I saw your nasty ass dog like shitting in my yard and stuff like that <laughs> but what's odd is that every like all the fighting posts were not approved but our maintenance people are trying to sell a scam crypto on it <laughs> Ooh, what? Yeah. oh hey do you remember wow. which one it was it was like oh my god oh, was, was it metabot crypto? coin no metabot it was way worse coin? it was like it was he said it was like tied to some university I don't remember. Oh my! I'd have to. I'd have to search through. But yeah, because I was like, "Oh, please!" Like, I wonder why emergency vehicles came through. Will this affect me? Oh right, it was. It was Pi Network. Oh yeah, it was Pi. The uh, Pi, yeah. The uh, pyramid scheme one. Yeah. So like, I see that he's. I've had my posts asking about like the why were there fire trucks here denied, but then <laughs> our fucking maintenance manager for the entire complex is like. I'm sending you a pie to claim your pie. Just click on my link. Oh my <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? No, every month someone tries to boil gasoline. <laughs> it's not explained what's happening. What? Like is once a, a month, a bunch a of vehicles you come can, through. Uh, is there a drug you can make with like boiled gasoline? I, I, unless there's there like to, a, there has to be one, right? I mean, you could if they're using gas for like a heater, but I don't think they're like boiling gasoline for the fumes. Oh. I mean, for gas huffing, you just huff gas. Yeah. <laughs> There's no heat required. It's, <laughs> it's not nearly this as dangerous as boiling gasoline. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this that podcast was the worst does not far. endorse gas huffing. Please no, don't no, huff no, gas. Yeah, no, no, I'm not endorsing not. gas huffing. Nobody was. I don't think I was even approaching endorsing gas huffing. Well... <laughs> no Corbin. Oh, I was giving Corbin some ideas. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brendan was just talking to me. I, there. I was saying that for Corbin's sake. <laughs> Bring your gas to a roll it like rolling boil and throw some Velveeta in there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to make gasaroni and like, cheese? Gasaroni I think that would cheese. genuinely instantly explode. I think <laughs> the, I think the addition out. of moisture to boiling gasoline like that, I genuinely think that would explode. <laughs> In that case, we could probably make craft in it. Craft will be Holy safe. shit, please. <laughs> shit powder. Please, if you're listening to this, don't. Don't. What is this? Make some, I don't know boil why. Boil noodles and gasoline. Make some gasoline hey, and cheese. If, have you ever been <laughs> in the podcast? <laughs> have you been in the podcast Discord? I'm just saying that. <laughs> I'm kind just of worried. Don't like, do it. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is hypothetical talk. Don't do it. But hypothetically, would it taste good? No. no. It would no. What do you fucking think? Mm, gas noodles. Fuel for cars. Fuel for me. Oh, that just reminded me. That just reminded me. Corbin is is what is, is what Corbin's roommate told me. Because uh, Corbin got a walk because I I talked about making popcorn in a walk and how I really like it. Uh, and Corbin got a walk and he apparently tried to make walk corn one time. Corbin, is it true that you tried to do it without covering the fucking walk with foil? No, I thought it was foil. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. I will take a long your roommate, time. Your roommate fucking told me that. Oh yeah, he just didn't cover it, so the fucking popcorn just went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, I covered it. It just not very well. Uh, <laughs> but like, did you like not wrap the foil uh, under the edge a bit? No, I left a little... Uh, the tinfoil wasn't big enough, 
Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> so you used two Four. pieces. Yeah, well, I didn't want to waste. So I just used what? one. You, you can reuse it. Had a, it. It's it had a little lip. A few popcorn got out. How many is a few popcorn? Corbin, please, please don't make gasseroni. I'm begging you. <laughs> please don't make, don't make gasseroni. gasseroni. I'll, I'll use two sheets of tinfoil. <laughs> for gasseroni or for popcorn? We're... Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> Corbin is going to fucking immolate himself. Listen, I didn't make gasseroni. I made gas with chili. It's different. (laughs) (laughs) Don't make anything like with the foundation of it being gas, Corbin. You're the one. You're the one. (laughs) You're such a hypocrite. The second you think of a joke, it's on the table. (laughs) That was my pen clicking. No, don't do it. Listen, you can say this, but like Corbin was almost genuinely upset that I made him eat beans. So, (laughs) what do you mean almost? (laughs) He was genuinely. I go, I feel sick. Why did you make me do this? And you just went, <laughs> Corbin and I would be the worst duo ever because I would just think of incredibly inane things that he would then do. Yeah, you already, really you guys a... already do that. Why are you pretending you don't do that? What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? Beanstream is still on the internet, Brendan. Like, that's, that's that hasn't true. gone anywhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, God. Um, uh, I can talk cry. about Kitsu King or the sleepover story. I have two options for you that I'm putting on the table. Oh, I want st- locked door sleepover is so fucking ominous. I want that one. Okay. Um, when I was in high school, I was friends with a lot. Like I was, I was the general like weird kid, but I would try to make friends with anybody that I could. Um, and I was friends with this kid called Colby and Colby had uh had a car uh so he'd give me rides home every once in a while we chat we play games over xbox live and uh one night i was like hey man uh i was i was in his car i was like hey man uh you want to do like a sleepover or something like i don't know we can play games all night he's like oh yeah man that sounds great so i get in his car we drive over to his house and i think all we do is play like frontline fuels of war on xbox 360 it's it's from like epic 4 p.m to like 9 p.m. And then his mom knocks in the door and is like, hey, it's bedtime. I'm like, it's 9 p.m. What are you oh like? We're God. both we're both 16, 17. Like, what are you talking about? It's like, oh, you know, well, he's got to take his pills and then go to bed. I'm like, oh, OK. So she pulls out one of these old people like pill sorters and hands it to him. And he like pops open the day and there's like 15 pills in there. And he takes them and he pops them all into his mouth. And he's like, mm, night, night. I'm like, all right. Uh, I guess we're going to bed at 9 p.m. I, I, at this point, I was used to staying up to like 3 a.m. He went right. He, he took a pill and went. Mm, he yum, took all 15 night, night. pills and dry swallowed them. Oh, yummy. Night, night. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> so the, wait, did he do like, all fuck? of them at once? <laughs> he did all of them oh at my, once. That is, that is pills. psychotic behavior. Uh, now I'm understanding why they fucking lock the door. <laughs> so what the fuck I was I was like. Okay, uh, one thing to note, the door was locked, but it was only lockable from the outside, and it had two, um, what the, what are the locks that you, like, push them, like, like, they're the, 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 yeah, it had two bolt locks on the outside, and I noticed this at first, and I was like, ah, it's like, whatever, it's like an old house, maybe, (laughs) so we had two bolt locks on the outside of his bedroom door, and I'm like, okay, where am I gonna sleep, and he's like, on the floor, I'm like, oh, do you guys have extra pillows or anything, he had, like, three pillows and two blankets, and he's like, nah, so, (laughs) I'm like, okay, it's 9 p.m., it's just, like, getting, it's, it's, it's dark, but it's not, like, quite dark dark yet and i'm just laying on the floor next to him in the in the cold with like one of his sweaters under my head and no blanket and i sleep like i I try to sleep like that for like two hours like i'm laying there tossing and turning and then he just starts snoring and then talking in his sleep and it's stuff like i'm gonna kill you oh what (laughs) the fuck I'm going to get you. And I'm like, okay, (laughs) this is too much for me. I'm just going to say that I need to pee. So I get up and I go to the door and the door is locked. (laughs) And in that situation, I didn't know what the proper thing to do would be. 
I, I was like, do I knock? Do I wake him up? So I try do to wake I him knock? up. I try to wake do him I up and knock? he's just do I dead knock? asleep, just dead. So I sit there by the door. I sit there for like an hour and a half. I cannot wake him up until I see a light flick on. And then I just start going. Doo, 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 doo. And it's his mom. And she's like, oh, do you need to go to the bathroom? And I'm like, I'm just going to go home. We had a good time. But I, I think I'm more comfortable in my bed. I'm like, oh, well, he's never had a sleepover before. So thank you for coming over and hanging out with him. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. I'm like, OK. So at like 12 a.m., I'm 16. And I walk like half a mile home in the city to just go home, close the door, go to sleep. The next morning um, was Sunday, and then that Monday, I go back to school, and he's like, oh, thanks for sleeping over. My mom said you left at, like, 8 a.m. I'm sorry you missed breakfast. And I'm like, no, I didn't. I left at, like, 1. <laughs> I mean, your his mom did you a solid there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I had it, like... I, 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 I don't know if that was weird in high school, but I had a lot of sleepovers in high school because I didn't have them as a kid. I, I had a few in like high, middle yeah. school. I, yeah, well, I, middle I, school. I, yeah I, I, did them, I did that pretty frequently. I just never called them sleepovers. I just always said spending the night. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Spending the night. Yeah. I mean, that is that is the that is the term I think I would use as high, uh, as high school. Brendan, that is correct. They were once, sleepovers. Once I got to uh, high school, There's my so parents many... wouldn't spend the night at people's house anymore because I thought I would be like doing drugs. <laughs> what was? I don't know. My parents had like a really what? weird fascination what? with me being like an insane drug addict. Drug addict, and I was like, I haven't even had beer. Now, to be fair, the first time I did get high was at a sleepover, and that yeah, was same. also an adventure. I'm just like I'm. I'm still hung up on like. Locking the doors, yeah, it's with, uh, like outside. It's pills. like uh, that. You that what, very much what felt is like a movie what, where you were put in there to be food. What is he capable yeah. of? I I don't know. What, what he, is he, he capable was, of? He was weird and also like so. Like he, one day senior year, I got a ride from him, and his entire bottom of his car fell out. <laughs> what? <you>, like <laughs> what? like, like the, the entire or? like the whole undercarriage fell out like axles both we were just driving out of the school parking <laughs> lot and the whole car fell out from the bottom oh, uh last time i saw him he actually worked at a vape store that i went to and he didn't know who i was he didn't recognize me at all like he was like i don't remember any of this i don't remember who you are like what? i didn't go to that school and i was like what are you oh, talking about what the, what? what the fuck what the fuck the fucking dude okay when the car fell out, did what the floor the fall fuck? out? Did it turn to a Flintstones car? I <laughs> no, like, like the whole fucking, undercarriage like, fell out. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm just picturing, no, I'm picturing it. Fucking Brendan with his like long legs just running under the car. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, Flintstones <laughs> car. Yeah. This is great. This is, this is headcanon. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Did, did it, uh, what the fuck? I, I don't some, know. Dude, there's something that happened. There, there there's has a, to be something between has, when the car fell out to like eight you, years later when I met him in a vape no, store you, when he was you, working there. How do you trust your child with the fucking car? But, but like at lock night, their doors at but, 9 yeah, p.m. Yeah, but at night you have to like lock the doors and make them take pills so they are knocked out. He did something. I think he, he probably, also got in trouble for huffing wood glue in shop class too. <laughs> oh, God. Now that he I'm remembering, he's just like a really avid sleepwalker. <laughs> avid. I mean, I, mean, I was pretty extreme <laughs> sleepwalking. I was like, I need to get out of there when he said, "I'm going to kill you in his sleep." Like, maybe it's like split, and that's how they contain the beast. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> then why let me sleep with the beast? <laughs> why lock you? It's an experiment. Why lock me the in? beast it's needs feeding. <laughs> the beast needs feeding. The beast gets hungry at night. The mom was like, "He's never had a sleepover." Where the other person survived. <gasps> I, think, I think that was like the third time too where I've been over to a kid's house and it was like, this is his first sleepover. I don't know why I'm like the first, like, I don't know why I'm like the control group for this shit. Oh yeah, I had one of those too with a fuck. Oh boy. That's, that's an experience, isn't it? It's always weird. My first one was a farm kid. We had mock trial, so I stayed at his house. We played with Legos for an hour. We went to bed at 8 p.m. And then his mom woke me up at 
like 4 or 5 a.m. to help him do farm chores. And I decided I'm never going over to a farm kid's house ever again. Fuck this. I'm not waking up at 5 to feed the goats the with him. fuck? There's so many chores. <laughs> what? Who the fuck is like, well, farm people are so fucking weird. Who the fuck is like, sleepover, all right, help him go feed the goats and the chickens. I just woke up, can I have breakfast? You get breakfast after work is done. My dad sells meth at his farm. I'm not a farm kid. <laughs> <laughs> My dad sells meth at his farm and shoots fucking Uzis at cats. <laughs> Don't forget, my dad also used to take out his old rifles and he'd shoot at airplanes in the sky what and the point f- laser pointers <laughs> at them. What the oh fuck? God. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. But it also let wow. me, me, my, me at 11 years old and my brother at nine years old use the four wheelers unsupervised. Fuck yeah. Holy shit. That's like going to a 4th of July in fucking uh, Baton Rouge, man. I did that shit. <laughs> yeah. That shit ruled. I was like, I was I was like nine normal. fucking years old and I was going off fucking jumps in an ATV. That was sick. I wrecked that thing That's like five tight. times into a ditch and it was always the same spot in the same ditch. Avoid the spot. No, I was stupid. I was a kid. All I did was ride on a four wheeler, play Xbox original games and then throw Yu-Gi-Oh cards at the uh, like outside of the house and pretend they were real. And my friends, oh my God, what? Wait, what? and my friends, what? what? Oh, oh, uh, like all right what? so when i collected <laughs> when i collected when i collected pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards i didn't really have a lot of friends like elementary middle school until i like really was in high school so i and, and like when i was in foster care uh so i would take pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards and i'd go outside and i'd throw them on the ground and i'd imagine they were my friends and i'd run around and have adventures with them okay that's very different that's than not I yeah that's not what you that's not what you said a what kid, did I say? What came What came out was kind of weird. Oh, oh no, what did I, I say? I thought just, his weird would be the weird I knew because there was this kid who told me that um like Yu Gi Oh shit was real, but he was like he was one of my friend's brothers or something. So he was like in eighth grade, and I was still in elementary school. So like he would never lie to me. And like he was, he's like, oh, no, dude, like Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, like they're all real if you know the summoning spells. See this? Oh, he lifts no. up his shirt, and is that? In retrospect, it was definitely like a, a fucking appendectomy scar. He goes, I got this from a Minotaur, and then I ran home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't want any part of what you had to show me. Who, to be fair, maybe that kid was me because I did like used to spray paint summoning sigils in my grandparents' trailer to what try to like bring what? forth magic. <laughs> What are these children learning Wiccan symbols and shit? <laughs> I, what the fuck? It was like a three to reverse lightning bolt and wi- like it was squigglies and I always tried to like spray paint it. My grandparents always made me like clean it off with paint thinner and like I just always was trying to summon like something from another Brendan, world because I thought I was cool. Brendan, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you right there. Like it was okay when you, you were talking about gasseroni and cheese, but right now you're just telling people to summon demons and that's not okay. <laughs> Now, to be fair, like, <laughs> Can all I the think the a week stop shoplifting uh, the mind, body, spirit section at Books a Million. <laughs> <laughs> a week, a week after I drew the first sigil, the trailer did start on fire. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> I kind of buried the lead on that one. <laughs> There was a there was a trailer fire and it was start it wasn't started by that it was started by an air conditioner that was uh, improperly fitted. Yeah, but an I air conditioner why, why that you, you think that happened? <laughs> you hexed it. No, it, my uncle installed a pagan it. Podcast? My uncle installed <laughs> it. My I uncle believe in, in this shit. My uncle installed the air conditioner backwards, so the water <laughs> put the <laughs> heat in. Yeah, he installed it backwards, like your what? backwards lightning bolt. You fucking know what you did. <laughs> you in of the hot and not out of the cold. <laughs> Shut up. Speaking about that sleepover just brought up like a dredge of memories. <laughs> <laughs> like this is so much. There's so I much know. Iowa lore. There's I'm not gonna corn lie. Lore. I spaced out when Brendan clarified what he meant by the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, so I'm still just picturing Brendan throwing <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh cards into into his field and pretending that they are his friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is. That's what I did. I okay. threw them onto the ground. I was physically throwing them and pretended I was friends with them, like they'd hang out and have adventures. Like that's what I said. Okay, cool. Fucking, I'll tell a weird sleepover story. Yeah, I oh went to, yeah. I what's a fuck? What's a weird kid's name? I never like to use real names for these things. Clement, just in case. Clement, Blaine, Blaine, Clement. Oh, Blaine, Blaine is good. Blaine, Blaine is syllable. really good. 
Blaine is also yeah. a weird kid I had a sleepover with, so this works. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was made like nine or ten. Fuck, how? Yeah, probably about nine or ten. And this wasn't even like my choice. This was like a your mom's our friends, and then like a sleepover happens. Oh uh, yeah. She's like, you're gonna you're gonna sleep over at Blaine's house this weekend, and I went okay. My mom's like, you have to understand, like he's up, like Blaine has always been a little like he's he's had trouble making friends, you know. Ever since his parents got divorced, he's had a lot of anger. I'm like, Whoa. oh okay. Oh <laughs> boy. And in retrospect, I realized this made some sense because um, we were just playing like Gold Nine in the N64 for a while and everything was okay and he goes let's play upstairs and i went okay you know how like in um in every 90s like or 80s children's movie the child has like an enormous fucking bedroom yeah it was like that and at first i thought that was his bedroom but it was like it was a really nice like big room with like a a single window at the end to let light in hardwood floor the thing was, this was probably the dad's office before, like, he went wherever he did. Oh. Because the whole room <laughs> was enormous, but empty, except for two items. In the left corner, there was a box filled with connects. And in the middle of the room was a Rock'em Sock'em, like, robots set. Which, if you don't know what that is, it's like a little, um, it's like a little punching game where you just no have like way. a little controller. It's like, it's like, like no real way steel. people don't know what that is. Yeah, and you, you, you fucking mash the button and pop the other one's head off. And it was a fucking small soldier's one. So it was just oh, like, yeah. yo, that's kind of sick. <laughs> it was the, it was the, the archer, like furry man, and then, um, Tommy Lee Jones soldier. And that's in the middle of the room. And he's like, come on, let's play. Like, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so we just sit in the middle of this huge fucking room playing this Rock'em Sock'em Robots thing. And it's like, it, everything we say is like echoing. Because the room is what? so big. <laughs> and we're playing with this thing for like three hours. And he's really loving it. And he goes, okay. And like, I don't even remember what we had for dinner. It was like, she had like, we had like hot dogs or something. But I remember he's like, okay, time for sleep. And we went into his bedroom. Which was directly across from the cathedral with the connects in it that we never touched. The cathedral? <laughs> it was so big. <laughs> like, the rooms of the house were pretty tiny, except for this one freakish room on the second floor. And his room, his actual room, was possibly a walk in closet or some sort of storage room for this huge room. Because in it, he had like, he had like a, some windows in the wall, he had a bed. Barely enough room, like, to walk to the bed on the floor. And directly, like, in front of the walking area was a tank with a huge fucking snapping turtle in it. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I mean, like, when I say too big for the container, the edges of the shell were, like, fucking touching the glass on both sides. <laughs> like, this was clearly a turtle he had found. So parents thought it would be like a, um, like a box turtle. And so they got a container for one, but oh it would, had hugely outgrown God. it. And when it would turn, the fucking glass would loudly creak. Oh, and, and Blaine no. would be like, oh, that's just, that's just Sammy moving around. And I'm noticing the top panes of the glass. They're like, they're like bending outwards a little bit. Like it's out. The glass is partially out of the frame. That's so sad. No. N no, it gets worse. He's like, oh, yeah, like he does. No, it. <laughs> what no, because it's out. And he goes, oh, yeah, like the glass breaks a little bit. Like, you know, sometimes he sometimes he's escaped. We just put him back in there. Oh, and I'm like, oh, OK. Oh. But what I realized laying on the floor is that, oh, when it's escaped, because it's like kind of on like this shelf, it probably like breaks. It shatters out of like his little his little habitat and he goes onto the floor and he doesn't have much like space to fuck around with, really. He either runs to the cathedral room or he's like is here on the floor in the walkway. And I'm supposed to sleep on the floor next to his bed. And I realize looking up at this, that there's a snapping turtle glaring down at me and that he could probably escape at any time he wants. And I'm on the floor. Oh my God. Was it like an alligator snapper? I, I don't know. It was so long ago, but just like. It, it was huge and clearly evil. Like he had, he had probably gotten deranged from his time in captivity. Yeah, there. probably. But it's it was realizing on the floor, 
like trying to sleep that oh wait when it breaks out it lands right where I'm laying <laughs> and so I looked up at it and it's like looking down at me and I'm staring up at it and now I'm terrified because I don't want to get up because I don't know if that'll provoke it and the door is like to the <laughs> left of it so if I try to leave I have to walk past it and it's staring at me and I start hearing <laughs> no <laughs> I realize the glass is starting to push outward and I'm like holy shit Play. Plaid. Plaid. <laughs> he's fucking snoring <laughs> and then the creaking stops and it's still staring at me and water's like leaking out of its little container oh my fucking god and it's like dripping onto oh my god. foot and i realize if i like startle this thing it might like thrash around and like collapse on top of me and, it, and it'll just start biting me and it'll kill me because once it starts biting me it just won't stop I'm nine. I don't know how to deal with a fucking snapping turtle. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, it bites you until it kills you. That's how they. That's how they work. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. What feels like hours, just staring at this turtle as it's like pushing against the glass, which is starting to come out and out more at an angle, and is clearly about to flop over, and it's going to fall on me. <laughs> I'm just like, holy fuck, what do I do? <laughs> so I start. I pull my feet up and I start bawling myself out like myself up and I don't know what to do. So I'm like, Oh, I got it. And I stand up as fast as I can. And I fucking punch Blaine in the face. <laughs> what the <laughs> and, and he starts screaming. I jump on the bed. The turtle habitat falls over. The turtle runs out and he's like, ah, and he's screaming. And I start screaming too. Cause I'm seeing the turtle like coming out. The turtle's loose. <laughs> His mom runs upstairs, sees that, like, the thing is knocked over, the turtle's loose, and he's screaming. And so she's like, no, I'll take care of it. Like, don't worry, we'll get, we'll get, the, we'll get the turtle tool. We'll get the turtle tool. Like, what the, the fuck turtle is the turtle tool? tool? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And I don't know how to describe this fucking apparatus she comes back with. It's some fucking nutty Professor Swiffer-looking crab claw. that she's, It's clearly been fashioned out of, like, broken cleaning materials. And she fucking snatches it up like a crab and, and just like is flipping it like a fucking burger in the air. <laughs> I'm so thrown off by what's happening because she's just like turning this turtle over and over again, like upside down, right side up. She's like, don't worry, what I'm just disorienting him. <laughs> what, <laughs> the <fuck? laughs> what the fuck? Don't worry, I'm just disorienting that him. Is, yes. That is so... That is so much. Yeah, I this don't know what's happening. Lot. He's still screaming. I'm and then she's like, it. and then she goes, I'm so mad. She goes, oh, it's okay. What? It's like, we'll put Blaine out in his habitat in the backyard for a while. And I, <laughs> it's like, Blaine? So, pardon me, not Blaine. Whatever. The <laughs> okay, I was like, holy shit. put Blaine out there. <laughs> that would have been way worse. <laughs> We'll put, this is the turtle's <laughs> room. You're just allowed to be in here. It might as well have been. <laughs> so, yeah, so we'll put Mr. Turtle's habitat in the backyard for a while. And then, like, I'm back on the floor. And the turtle's gone, so I'm like, fine. And Blaine's sitting there. And then he starts crying. And he's like, why would the turtle do that to me? <laughs> he, he was convinced it had bit him. Like, in the face that he was sleeping. <laughs> I don't say a fucking word. And the next day, the turtle, when I'm going to leave, I look like, dude, they have like a sliding glass door. I look out back. The turtle has a huge fucking habitat out there. It looks like it's made for a dog, like with a little pond and everything. And it's just like sitting on the edge of it completely fine. It had like more room than you would need for a turtle. And it's just like, for whatever reason, he sometimes just liked having it in his little box so he could look at it. And it would get pissed and try to break out to go back down there. <laughs> wow. But I couldn't deal with stairs, so just run into the cathedral and fuck around with the connects. <laughs> <laughs> and I you was can't sleeping touch the connects. Those are Mr. Turtles. <laughs> yes. And I was sleeping in his fucking toll lane. Like, I slept on the road he uses the leave. I'm, I'm <laughs> oh my god. Because uh Fucking people who are from the south. I'm gonna post an alligator snapper because this is what I've been picturing as the turtle for the entire time, and it makes the story so much better. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my Wait, god, that was an monster. alligator snapper. They, it was fucking huge. Oh my god. 
I tell you, I, like I said, the fucking glass was like making a scraping sound whenever it moved, and it would just like lean against it and break out. <laughs> oh my god. He should not he have had, had a kaiju was, in his room in a glass cage. <laughs> there was room for the bed, the turtle, and the turtle's road, and that was it. Holy shit. I slept where it got out, where it would flop out, I would assume every night to try and escape, and it would just go into the one empty room, so it would be no problem, because it's like, where can it hide? It's either in the connects or behind... No, it, it couldn't hide behind the rock and sock. <laughs> it's a, it's a fucking monster. It's literally it, it was like the kind of It was like a joke you'd see in a cartoon, like, oh, like, that's that's fluffy. That's his little cage when it's like it can just like move its arm and break out of it. That's what it was like. <laughs> it was just sitting there with like this little is, pond to stick its foot into. This is a lot. This is so much. I guess it liked the heat lamp. That's like the only reason it didn't like break out all the time. Was because like it would sit there and then go, okay, I'm warm, and then it would just fucking leave. <laughs> Except this time, like the fact that he started, it, the Blaine started screaming was enough to make his mom come up instead of just hearing like the nightly <laughs> when like it fell falls over. <laughs> oh this God. time she heard screaming, so it's like, I wonder if the, the dad left because of the turtle. <laughs> the are you are you confident the that the dad left and wasn't just gone? <laughs> <laughs> like the turtle got him. <laughs> I don't know. That's why the boy was screaming. Why would he do this to me? Is it like a fucking A twenty four movie? Like you have a relationship loss, and you just like start fixating onto this like fucking kaiju. Oh my god! You have to get over your wife's death. The turtle's not a replacement. <laughs> it's clearly a monster. <laughs> you have to get over this in a healthy way. Cameron, that was dude, Cameron would fucking love that. <laughs> fucking N64 connects small soldiers rock and sock him and monster turtle. <laughs> Those are the entertainment gonna options. I'm going to throw up. I was laughing so hard that time. Yeah, I, feel, I feel dizzy God. and kind of ill. <laughs> I love this episode. Like, like, I've gone to weird sleepovers, but that was definitely the worst one. Because that's when I thought I was actually oh, going to fucking shit, die. Dude. <laughs> Like your life changes when like you're trying to sleep and a fucking giant turtle's you're looming over you for three confronted hours. Confronted with your mortality by you. a turtle. <laughs> confronted with your mortality. It wouldn't have even been a problem if I like had the fucking sense to go to his mom and be like, "Can I like sleep in the cathedral and not like here?" But I'm like, "Oh, that's that's the grown up, and I I'm I'm eight or nine. I don't know how to deal with this. I guess this is where I sleep." Holy fuck! What a fucking nightmare. I don't even remember the turtle's name. I remember the kid's name, but not the turtle's. I was so scared of it. I just forget details about it. God, fucking alligator snapping turtles are horrific. They're literally monsters. He just fucking had one. And the only reason it didn't kill him was because it would flop onto the floor and it couldn't physically reach up and get him. <laughs> <laughs> no, the turtle tool was never snapped in half. Oh my fucking god. Why was the turtle tool downstairs? <laughs> the turtle Keep it up the here. The turtle tool needs to be in the bed with your son. <laughs> yes. Just like a big fucking pair of tongs made of swiffers used to grab your big turtle and lug him around. Patreon questions. I guess. I guess. <laughs> This one's this one's seasonal, and also I think I know Corbin's answer to it, and it's funny. Uh, Generic Phoenix asked, "What's what was your favorite Halloween costume you had growing up?" Uh, oh man, my dad made me a fully custom oh. fucking Bionicle costume when I was a kid. That's so that sick. shit was so cool sick. as fuck. That's that sick. was awesome. Uh, mine was, uh, I think mine was Travis touchdown. I really liked that. Avery, can I have a hint? Oh, it's uh, you went to Northgate in this costume. Oh, what I went is Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I, I, that was the first night I ever blacked out too. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> because Did, didn't you tell a cop, sir? I promised this was water when I grabbed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> I in it was a, it was an endless bar tab, an endless bar tab, open oh. bar tab, and. Oh. Uh, I felt untouchable. Uh, like I was just parting the seas of the drunken I mean, college you were Jesus to go to the bar and just grabbing so many alcohol. And the place we were at too, 
uh, we were on the second story and it had a little outdoor balcony and I kept getting really hot because I was in like a full robe, beard and like long wig. And uh, so I kept walking outside to get fresh air and uh, I got separated from everyone. We all got separated in this like giant party. And uh, one time I walk outside to go get fresh air, cool down. I'm like, okay, cool. I turn around, I'm outside and I'm at a completely different bar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And this car pulls up and goes, Corbin? And I go, yeah. And she goes, I'm your Uber. And I go, okay. <laughs> wow. So I get into the Uber and she's just like, so, you're dressed as Jesus, right? And I go, yeah, pretty tight. <laughs> and then we talked about Jesus for like the entire car ride home. <laughs> I, I, the only other part I remember is the second my roommate got home, I had a giant bag of candy corn and I just <laughs> as hard as I could threw it at his face. <laughs> and, and, Why? and it just exploded everywhere. And then we spent the rest of the night eat, like, just eating candy corn off the floor. What the fuck? Off the floor? Power move. Why? <laughs> off the floor. Oh my God. I don't know. I was really drunk. It was a great Halloween though. That sounds so really have we fun. About, have we talked about your uh, 21st birthday at all on the podcast? I don't remember. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay, cool. So we I okay. Mean, so we talked about when you walked out of the bar and the cop clearly wanted your ID and you gave him the leg of a table you yeah. stole. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, I told that story. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. I, I shouldn't go to Northgate. No, you should go to Northgate. <laughs> it's always been, Last time I went, I threw a blood. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I oh, was actually, fuck. it was really funny. I was telling the Kachow, the Kachow girl story uh, to some of my friends that hadn't heard it before. And as soon as I finish, I turn around and I just, we're outside. I just start throwing up and there was blood. And they're like, oh are God. you okay? And I go, yeah, it just happens when I think about her sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, <laughs> Anyone about? else have a fun costume? Yeah. Mm. I, I dressed up as Pikachu. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That uh, is cool. I guess I also, my mom dressed me up as a ghost when I was three, and I love the pictures for it. I wish I could find them. And she dressed me up as a ghost. She she gave me white face, a white robe, and then a pointed white hat. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> oh you looked like a clan God. God. You? I looked like a clan member with an open face, yeah. Oh my fucking God, why? <laughs> like a proud clansman, not even hiding it. Oh my God. I was like, I, I have to show, I, I make fun of my mom like almost every Halloween. I was like, remember when you dressed me up like a clansman and she just sighs in embarrassment? To be fair, my mom was like 18 when I was three, so she's pretty fucking stupid. Oh, my co my favorite costume, I guess, was my Buzz Lightyear one because I thought I was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, because my, I was going trick or treating, and I would turn around, and like kids would be crying, and I just thought because I had like this little face plate you could pull down with like a Buzz Lightyear face, and I just thought it looked scary. It turned out whenever I was turning around, my fucking wings were decking kids in the face. <laughs> 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 that's fucking great she's like wow I was that's crying so spooky <laughs> were you drunk no, I was buzz light I was maybe like was I was young I was a little kid it's yeah, a little it's just the way you said it I'm, was I'm 19 voice. with wings like hitting other fucking 20 year olds in the face with wings and they're you crying you say that like it's out of the fucking question for you to do that <laughs> <laughs> so high up Corbin, don't worry. I got that. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I almost oh, just Corbin, say? Water came Corbin says, no, he was just a little buzz. <laughs> <laughs> I almost spit water in my nose. Uh, <laughs> Weezer super fan asked. Oh, great. If <laughs> I don't actually want to ask the question. I just wanted to say the name. Uh, uh, ah, fuck it. Uh, if every if everyone on the epi on this episode had to collectively decide on a group Halloween theme, what would it be, and what would each person wear? Spooky. Probably some Halo machinima fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah, it would probably be like. <laughs> no, because everyone would have to agree. I couldn't convince you guys to do that. Oh, Channel Awesome would be a fun theme. Actually. Oh, that would be oh. a great one. Actually, <gasps> who would be who? Who's Doug? I think I'd call Winkara. Can I be the piss on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to be cinema snob. I don't even know who's on fucking the, that guy with the glasses. 
Or I, I just remember like, the cast Channel of the main movies. The kind David, of you can be it. film brain. I fucking hate <laughs> film brain. I don't want to be film brain. He's he's not the character he plays in the movie. Corbin can be Oni. <laughs> <laughs> what is Oni? <laughs> Oni. Wow. It's Oni. I'll bite the bullet and be Doug. Hell yeah. Yeah. Listen, as long as we can get Cameron dressed up like Angry Joe. <laughs> yeah. With like all the Transformers movies in his hands at all times. Who would Ed be? Oh my god. Um, Who's the one guy who dresses like a rock? What? <laughs> oh, fair, fair. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> All of our knowledge comes from the movies. Who is that? Who's the one guy who's like who's, 2D? Wait, and he who's gets a, mad and somebody 3D. can be Angry Joe. I think I think Angry Joe could be Ed. I, Ed yeah. could probably do a really good Angry Joe. He actually. could do a great Angry Joe. <laughs> Jeff Keeley fucked on me. <laughs> like <laughs> that video is incredible. Why is there a Cars themed question? Corbin, I Where? hate you. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a Cars themed. Jokes one, on you, yeah. Corbin. You'd have to read it to ask. I know. It. Now I'm reading the questions. You fuck. I mean, I could. We can answer that one pretty quickly. I think. Which host would be most likely to shit themselves in public as a bit? Ed. He didn't say his name. Jeffrey Jangles. Oh, no, Jeffrey asks, Jangles. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey Jangles asked that. Ethan Carter. If everyone on the podcast was transported into the Cars universe, what type of, of car course. would they be? Uh, Segway. <laughs> 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 Thanks so much for listening. Banjo won't stop the smacking my face right now, but I'll still go through the Patreon names of our top patrons, such as Air109, Alan Diver, it was nice to meet you at Too Many Games, by the way, Alex Steer, Ben Chrismanic, Bake, Bongo Crust, Boo Poo Clayotic, Daxter092, Desrick Gothroy, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, Eric Scott Gillies, Fang Jade. Generic Phoenix, Harry Norris, Inverted Van Man, Jeffrey Jangles, Kobe, Lance, Lone Star Doge, Manuel Martinez, Mellow Wolf, Maya, Notoriety, Pyropat, Schizolingvo, Seawolf812, Shantanu Batia, Snake Asylum, Teague, Travis Vapes, Trevor Wood, William Oliver, Winchester Curse, and Zora Curl. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.